so I played with this yesterday a little bit and I mentioned that it looked a little squared off, a little too much like an unfinished Tetris game. Um, so if I'm sitting in front of it and looking at it, yeah, it's improved, but now I've got a whole lot of business going on here. I'm not just going to toss this, but I'm not that happy with it. It's improved, but it's not what I was after. And I think I also mentioned that once I get something in my head, I have to carry it through, at least to a point. Resolve the issue. I don't know if I'm going to do this on this panel. But as you can see, uh, you know, what we have is, is the back of a hedgehog with, you know, I don't know, it's, maybe it's tail. I don't know, it's just... No, not its tail, but uh, with a tree behind it. I'm just, in general, not happy with the, the flavor that I ended up with. I really, I really did not capture at all on this on this uh, panel uh, the flow and the feeling of what I wanted to when I was actually on site. And as I said too, I'm always more successful at it when I'm actually on site, actually playing art painting plein air painting. So that is not what I'd hoped for. All in all, it's a bit of a dangerous composition too. I, eh, depends on what I do with the foreground. Let me just back the camera out a little bit because I want to show you something else. I want to show you what I was after. I did not go uh, for a drive today. Uh, sketching today. Uh, it was really windy, uh, sporadic showers, not a nice day to get out, uh, so I did some other things. I didn't even pan any gold, and I didn't mean going to a river and panning gold. I mean I still have uh, things, uh, I have I have material at home that I can pan out for gold. Didn't do any of it. But I was being bothered by this thing. I'm going to set it aside for the time being. I like a flow. I like music in a painting. I don't want just a depiction of what's there. I don't want a report of what's there. Because then you can... If you're going to report as accurately as you can what's there, well, you may as well take a photograph. Uh, I like to imbue it with a little bit of... Ah, some, I'll, I'll, well, let's call it visual music. And what I saw when I revisited the video that I did the other day, the live video of, of when I was at this area, what turned me on was the, 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 uh, the, the cliff side of the trees tumbling down a mountainside. Um, I really enjoyed that. I liked that. I always liked that as an ingredient in the painting, often as the main event. But, you know, what I ended up with was really too too zoomed in with all these details of all these branches which which kind of took away from that feeling of flow you know tumbling down and then and then I know that there's a tree sort of not in the middle but poor placement and poor shape that sort of broke it so it's the, it was this one mass of, of, of bush and combined with with the with the with the what the the direction of the line coming down off the mountainside, it, it, it like it it's like it tumbled down, interrupted by a few treetops, and then hit this bush. The bush stopped it, but the bush was equally interesting. I didn't pay enough attention to all of those details. I'm not talking details as in tiny branches. I'm talking details as in making those lines very correct. So, um, as far as my intention was concerned, I failed horribly, which is another sign I should take a break. And this is part of my break. Uh, not producing, just sort of revisiting things and then playing around. So I did, I did do, uh, at home, in front of this easel uh, while looking at the video, I revised, and I want to show you my real intention of the, of the painting. It's a painting that has a little more flow and a little more music to it. 
So it's just a quick line drawing, but the composition is far better. Oh, I better put my glasses on. Okay. Can you see that? See how this dives down, interrupted by a couple of spikes, comes to here, and is stopped from flowing off the painting by this paint, by this bush, which is more in the foreground and it just has a more interesting shape. And then of course there's the water in the foreground which may or may not stay the same. It doesn't matter. I, I could paint a hundred sketches. That would be fine. Um, but in general, I, that's more in the direction of what I was after. Yes, it's revision. It's a change from from what I first saw there, but I wanted to capture the character of it, the feeling of it. Uh, I think that my little pencil sketch here more accurately depicts that than this thing. Uh, I like it, I'll use it. I'm not going to use it now though. So I'm just going to keep playing today. Just wanted to explain that. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.